Fortnite Creative. You've played it, I've played it. It's the most recent game mode added alongside Battle Royale and Save the World, and has had a huge effect on professional gameplay. Released in December of 2018, this new game mode has allowed dedicated competitive players such as yourself to get some concise, realistic practice. Guys, if you're new to Fortnite, you guys don't know just how good you've got it. Today, we're going to be talking about the best creative 1v1 starts that will set you up to win every single battle. What's good, everybody? I'm your host, Dan, and yes, I'm here to give you the scoop, the most updated information regarding the fastest creative starts, straight from the pros. But before I give you all of our secrets, I got one favor to ask you, and that is leave a dang like on the video. Once you do that, hit that subscribe button with the push notifications on. You know we always hook you up with the freshest and most useful strategies to elevate your gameplay, so why not give us a little something in return? And just one more thing, you guys know the drill, if you're looking to take your gameplay to the next level, I recommend you check out Play With Pros, a pro guides offered service where we have live 24-7 coaching from some of the best players in the game. Head on over to ProGuys.com right now. Trust me, guys, you won't regret it. Also, do us all a favor and smash that like button. Show it what you got. Before creative, us grinders would go out back to Wailing Woods. Yes, Wailing Woods. Mine a bunch of wood and crank our 90s with whatever we could get. Nowadays, everything is different. You've got Zone Wars, Turtle Wars, and most notoriously, the one versus one. Now, if you haven't followed along with me yet, I probably got your attention with that one. Practically everyone has jumped into a build battle with their friends at one point or another. Learning a faster creative start will almost always guarantee that you get high ground and will allow you to work top down on your opponent. Gone are the days where you spend your entire build battle fighting for height. No, no, my friends, because now it is time for you to take control and win. No, 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 no. First up to bat is the clicks creative start. Yeah, no surprises here. Dude's a beast, and we all have a lot to learn from the young savant. Yeah, and you gotta, oh, you gotta boost. He actually gotta boost that time. What? What are you? You, you getting nervous? <laughs> that did not just happen. Oh my God! Hurry up. Just, let's go. Let's wind some footage from Clix when he was doing some creative build fight wagers against his viewers and really break things down. Right off the bat, we got Clix popping two 90s in a row, which ends up bringing his field of view back to the opponent. This is really important for you guys to pick up on because basically any good creative start begins like this. The rationale for wanting to spin yourself around as soon as possible is mainly because you have no idea where your opponent is if you're off in La La Land cranking your builds to max height before you even try honing in on your adversaries. No, guys, the pros do it differently. Concise yet effective is the goal here. Additionally, Clix elects to use the EU style 90s in order to allow him to flick back around as soon as possible. Not only that, but you got to admit, it looks pretty baller. We obviously are valuing utility over flashiness. Like, for real, if you want some crazy complicated and less effective creative start, go and watch Phase Sway or something. Anyways, the 90s clicks does here is solid, but we really want to hone in on what he does after the 90s that sells the entire start. Look at how clicks instantly tries to use his builds to suffocate his opponent. He's trying to get ramps and cones and literally whatever other builds onto his opponent's side of things to limit his options. You see, there's only so many moves you can make to get yourself higher than your opponent, and you really unlock much more potential when you bring the fight to him. You're going to see this recurring theme among pros throughout the video. Anyways, to finish it off, you can see that Clix's maneuver clearly pays dividends when he lands a big shot to put him in the lead early on. He now has height and a solid HP advantage. Consistently being able to do this is really what will get you to win more creative build fights. You're going to be able to tell throughout the video that there really are two schools of thought when it comes to creative starts. The first one being an aggressive approach, the second one being a more passive approach. Clix typically uses a very aggressive approach because he knows he's good at it and more power to him, but you will need to figure out what works for your game and adjust accordingly. The next creative start that I'll be showing off is much more passive in scope, but you'll see another aggressive approach creative start later on in the video. Alright guys, up next is a creative start that I personally hold near and dear to my heart because it's the one that I used to school my opponents on the creative turf. I'm talking about the Delayed Bizzle 90. 
The delayed Bizzle 90 gives you slightly more elevation than your normal 90s rotation, hopefully just enough to edge out your opponent. Okay, so let me break this one down for you guys. We're going to be taking advantage of a phasing mechanism to allow us to do infinite 90s. We can theoretically crank these 90s all the way to build height if we wanted to, which for the record we won't, but it's going to be helpful for us to secure height. First, we're going to do a spider 90, which is a fancy way to say that we will place the wall to our right a stair below ourselves. After that, let's do a bizzle 90, but there's a catch. Do the bizzle 90 normally, but the moment you're about to place the stair below yourself, wait half a second. This will push you higher on the stair and give you a slight edge over your opponent. Once you've gotten the hang of that mechanism, and trust me, it'll take a few tries, you can go ahead and finish things off with an infinite 90. The infinite 90 is you doing a 90 without jumping, which gives you the ability to continue 90ing up for as long as you need to. But because the delayed bizzle 90 allowed you to edge your opponent out, you most likely won't need to do too much cranking to reliably get yourself on the high position. Time to go back to the pros as we take a look at the Booga Creative Start. This creative start is quite simple yet very elegant. Surely this is something you'll be able to pick up and use in no time. To get to the meat and potatoes, as my mama would say, the real secret to Booga's trick is when he spins around. After he spins around doing two 90s, you can see he instantly reaches out as far as he can with his stairs and plops a pyramid on top. This is done so his opponent has no moves to ramp rush directly over him and basically buys him some time of his own to get a little crank going on. He sidesteps behind the pyramid and is off to the races. You might be taking a look at the clip and say, wow, he just outcranked his opponent, but there really is more to the story. Like I said, pro players don't think the same as us. Instead of going into their own bubble and cranking, which would leave them vulnerable to someone ramping over them, they take the offensive approach to stomp on their opponent's chances of getting height. This sort of offensive approach really works well in a lot of situations outside of just creative starts. Let me explain it like this. If you're playing a game of chess, sometimes you're going to have to make a seemingly aggressive play to block your opponent's moves. Moves that could have been used to exploit you in future turns. You think ahead of your opponents using that big old brain of yours. You are basically eliminating moves that your opponent can use on you by getting those extra builds in. If you find yourself in any situation where controlling more builds effectively eliminates plays that your opponent can make to exploit you, then do it. It all wraps back to this central concept. All in all, some pretty good stuff. If I'm being completely honest with you, the Booga style of creative starts is quite staple in the pro scene. Take Kuroza's creative start, for example, which is a slight variation of Booga's start, but just as effective. Now, taking a look at Kuroza, he too elects to go for the quick double 90s and puts his opponents in his sights. The only difference between Kuroza and Booga is that once Kuroza gets himself turned around, he takes a more aggressive approach. Remember when Booga decided to throw the extra ramps and a cone to give himself some room to continue building? Well, Kuroza decides to try and play similar builds, but with a different intention. From the way Kuroza is charging towards his opponent, you can tell that he's going for the aggressive move right off the rip. Although he's unable to take control of the walls, his opponent makes it easy for him by cracking the edits. Kuroza is in a prime position to get some easy damage in and makes his world caliber level opponent stretch look like light work. Between all the examples shown today, hopefully I can get you guys to see that there is a trend of creative starts between all pros. Start with your 90s and decide how aggressive you want to get. To recap, if you want to play a more passive role with your creative start, yet still have a really solid chance of owning height, use either the delayed Bizzle 90s or Booga's creative start. Both of these strategies allow you to build separation between you and your adversaries just enough to give you an advantage. On the other hand, if you want to get aggressive and contain your opponent, then opt for Clicks or Kuroza's creative starts. Both of them prey on the early exploitation of their opponents, while they're less focused on you and more focused on the builds. Both strategies work, just tailor them to your own playstyle and you'll be on the right track to slaying out your friends and foes. And remember, practice makes perfect. I really want to see all you guys improve and take your games to the next level, so do me proud, guys! Alright, that's going to be all for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed what you saw, then why not go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribing with the bell turned on will ensure that you never miss a thing. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.